we've had a qualified technician run the power. You can see the conduit coming in underneath the track and then um, there it's been extended a little bit to get into the box. And we've got uh, a little bit of high voltage here, something that I've made the uh, owners aware of. It seems like uh, several circuits inside the building actually have high voltage, well, higher than what we would like to see. So on uh, incoming voltage for a AC line, 5% over what it's rated at is probably okay. So 126 volts. And so it's a little bit lower than it was yesterday when we tested it. Yesterday when we tested it, it was 127 volts. So it's probably fair to say that that's acceptable. Um, you check with a qualified electrician and they can tell you um, what the uh, downsides are to having a uh, high power uh, or high voltage rather higher than what it's spec'd at. So take the electricians brought us power. We've tested it. We've tested that uh, we have a good ground and um, we've tested our, our voltage and documented it. And now we've got power and we can start testing the equipment. Now I've already ran it one time, uh, just a couple of feet. So I have, this will be the first time that I've ran it all the way. So let's see what the, uh, what the gate operator does. So I've cleared the area. There's no personnel. I've marked the area with orange cones. So people know uh, that uh, work is being done. I'm gonna run it for the first time. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the safety device. Okay, the non-contact sensor works. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it again. I'm listening and watching all at the same time. I wanna to listen to see if there's any rubbing, cracking, any noises that would not be uh, normal. And now I'm gonna come down here and, and, see, uh, and see where she sets. Now, because I know I've already set the limits, um, I don't have to be as cautious about monitoring the gate these first couple of cycles. Ideally, what you would probably want to do in this scenario is actually monitor the gate operator while you're close to the on-off switch. That way, if something does act um, um, erratic, you can immediately stop the gate operator. So we'll go ahead and uh, click it again. We'll give it an open command. We've got uh, the gate operator opening. We Again, want to check the safety device while the gate operator is opening to make sure that we have um, uh, the direction set properly. In this case, we do. We have it set open left, and it is an open left gate. That, uh, that's something to be cautious of because if you have multiple safety devices, you test it one direction, it may work just fine, then you test it in the other direction, and it could quite possibly do an action that you don't want. So, I'm going to let it run. Now that we know that it hits the stop limit before hitting the catch. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm going to back it off to where it doesn't close as far. And you do that by releasing this plate. And in this case, we're going to spin it towards the switch. We're just going to go one notch, okay? And it's not uncommon for the uh, limit nut that you're not adjusting to get out of position. So you just push it back over to where it slides in the slot. And then both of them should seat just like that. So now we'll turn it back on. We'll give it a command. It should open up. And because we have the gate set to open, stop, close, I'll give it another command. The gate will stop, and then I'll give it a close command. And then we should get about a half inch to an inch um, backed off. Okay, so we got about half inch, three quarters of an inch. I'm really happy with that. Now, they're gonna discontinue the use of the lock um, when uh, when this all gets set up, set up, that was for the manual setup.